Hey everyone, welcome back to the studio. After August's preparation and last week's plein air fun, I'm feeling a bit lackluster, but I'm gonna do what I can to get this video out to you. And maybe in the future, I'll find a way to plan ahead for this kind of dip so that uh, I can get back into it faster. If you have any, since this is the first update of the month, I need to send a huge thank you to my Patreon patron ladies. You are wonderful. Lisa, Laura, Lynn, Katie, Kat, Trina, Anne, and Chelsea. Without their help, I would not be able to do these videos that you're watching right now. So give them a big round of applause Hooray! and let's get to it. The September Herman Art Show went really well. Bob and I are getting really good at packing. So good, in fact, that we were convinced we'd forgotten a lot of something because the car wasn't completely full to the top. There was plenty of room. We could have brought more. As it turned out, we did re remember everything. When we got there, it was cooler and it was even rainy, though it was just kind of a, a drizzle, maybe a little more prolonged than last time, but uh, people were walking around with their umbrellas and uh, still got to meet quite a few people. I did something new. I did a giveaway. So people signed up for my email newsletter that day. I put their name in a fishbowl and drew one, and one of them out at the end of the event. The name I drew was of this young man I got to talk to earlier that day. And uh, so we got to talk about what he likes to draw and things that inspire him. And uh, so when I drew a name out, I was very happy that it was his. And I even got to present it to him in person. He was so excited. It was really cool. The Rocheport Plain Air event, it, it went. <laughs> I think it went well overall. Um, there's a lot to process and I'm working on a video to share that with you guys. But I will say this time right now that uh, it was hard. It was a lot of work mentally, physically, creatively, you know, very much, you know, pressure to perform kind of thing. But uh, I stuck to my idea about focusing in on things close up like I would do normally. So it was kind of studio art outside. And I'll tell you more about that specific topic, specific topic in the next video. But I think it worked. These four right here, are four of the six that I did. I did get to the full six, which was my personal goal, and I met that. I did sell one of the six, which was really cool. It's always a nice thing. And one of them will be at Columbia Art League in the extended show coming up soon. I'll have to find those dates, but it's interesting that the one piece I disliked the most because it represented so much discomfort all the comments about it were, wow, that's such an intimate piece. Hmm. Interesting connection there between discomfort and intimate. I'm not quite sure what to do with that yet, but it plays more on that. You know, what I see when I do it or when I interpret can be completely different than what other people see and interpret. I'm sure this is nothing new or unique to me. It's just me coming to terms with it and coming into contact with it more. That's so interesting. The video I'm working on will kind of take you through it with me. I took video snippets as I went and I'm gonna stitch them together and try and tell that story in a compelling way that's interesting to listen to. Um, so if you're doing, gonna be doing your first plein air event or wanna know what it's like, you'll wanna watch that video. And I'll let you know as soon as it's ready. This white headed vulture here needs a name. I want to submit him to an art show that's coming up and I don't want to put untitled in the submission form because I think he should have a name. Lynn, thank you so much for your suggestions on this in that short I just put out today. Um, I like first to sup and then there was another one. Oh, Mr. Wrinkles. I thought that's kind of cute too. So. Those are kind of what I'm playing with right now. If anyone else has suggestions, let me know in the comments here or in that short, because I want to make a decision this weekend. The 24th is the last day to submit, but I would like to do it sooner than that. And then I've got to get a mat made for this guy. I was playing with um, an app, or I guess it's more of a website than an app called Canvy, C-A-N-V-Y. So it lets you put 
um, your art and frames on a wall situation, right? So you can see it. And the more I saw this without a mat, the less I liked it. It, it just, I need a mat. I just, <laughs> I think it looks better. So I'm gonna do that, but that's gonna make the dimensions of the frame bigger. And that piece of non-glare glass, that's gonna hurt to buy, but I'm gonna do it because this guy's gonna need it. And then he'll go into the Boone County Art Show. Time-lapse studies. I want to get back to those, but I'm kind of at a standstill as to what to do next. So if you have a photo or a suggestion or some of something that I should do a quick study on, like I've done in this playlist, please leave me a comment down below and I will check them out as soon as I can. Have a great week. See you next. Mm -hmm.